Happy Monday fairies, it's Sammy Jane here, your Monday fairy vlog mother and we're here on Under the Sea Week to celebrate um, the release of Finding Dory um, in the US cinemas. Unfortunately for us UK British people, we cannot get it until next month so happy Finding Dory to you Americans and we will wait. Don't spoil the film. Okay. So, for Finding Dory Under the Sea Week, I thought I would do a little rundown of the five most important things you can learn from that wonderful little blue tang fish that she is. Because she is very small, very forgetful, but she she knows the stuff that fish, she does. So firstly in celebration, I have got my Finding Nemo t-shirt on that's, that's got Dory and Marlin on. And it says P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, because that's like obviously the most famous thing about Dory, of course. So yes, I'm going to go through my five things we can all learn from Dory. And also, stay tuned to the, for the end of this video, because I'm going to tell you how you can get involved in Fairy Vlog Mothers with us. Um, we've got something very exciting coming up, so stay tuned for that one. So yes, five things, let's go. So getting straight into it, I'm going to start with the most obvious of them all of course, which is to just keep swimming. I thought I would do this first because it's a pretty obvious one. That is like her tagline, let's be honest. I was going to do it last so I thought, nah, it's a bit like predictable, I suppose. So yeah, just keep swimming. You know what, whatever life throws at you, just keep going, just keep swimming, everything will be okay around the corner. Yeah, which is fair enough. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and at number four, I've got uh, giving everyone a chance. So, in regards to Dory, she is literally just makes friends with everyone. Like, I think because she doesn't really know that a shark might eat her, or like a jellyfish is gonna sting her or you know whatever for whatever it is she will make friends with Bruce and try and make friends with jellyfish and weird little glowy fish things I don't know what they are and she'll just make friends with them and I think that's cool like it doesn't matter who anyone is just give everyone a chance I like that I can get behind that yeah well done Dory you go girl Okay, next on my list is don't give up. So this might sound a, sound a bit like the just keep swimming thing, but it kind of isn't. Because just keep swimming is like, oh yeah, just like, you get on with it, blah blah blah. Don't give up is if you want something, you go and get it. And you keep trying. Like, in Finding Nemo, when they think they're going to lose Nemo forever, but Dory just keeps going. She's always like, yeah, we'll find blah blah and new new and she doesn't give up and she doesn't give up on her friends and she doesn't give up on what she wants which I think is gonna kind of gonna show a bit more in the Fanny Dory film because obviously she wants to find a family and whatnot but we will see about that but I think that's very very important okay so number two on my list is help if you can help and yeah if like you see someone they need your help well, why not? Give them a hand. Dory, that's what she does. Marlin, she doesn't know that fish from a fish. She had never seen that fish before. But she doesn't care. She's like, yeah, you need my help? I'll help you. She might not be very good at it. Because, you know, brain, woo. But, you know, her heart's in the right place. And she just wants to help at the end of the day. She just wants to give them a hand. So, yeah, do that. Do that. And lastly, but not leastly, my number one tip you can learn from Dory is have fun. Dory is a fun seeker. She likes to jump on jellyfish. She likes to ride on turtles. She likes to... Lots of fun fish things. You know, she just does. She just likes it. She just likes the fun. And I like the fun. Everybody likes the fun. So have fun. Because Dory said so. Dory says have fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So yeah, that is my five things, which I think I got through pretty quickly for me. Probably longer than everyone else's, but it's fine. So yes, that is my five. As for getting in to in what? As for getting involved in the fairy vlogmothers, when we get to 100, that's 10, I mean 100, when we get to 100 subscribers, which we are very near, we are going to look into doing a big Q&A video um, with all of us fairy vloggers, um, so we're wanting you to ask us questions basically, we're trying to start getting questions now ready for when that comes um so if you would like to ask us a question either like as a group or like one of us separately just hashtag on here or on twitter um or on instagram dear fairy vlogmothers i think it's dear fairy vlogmothers or it's dear fairy vloggers but i will put it down below it will be there i be um tag that ask us your question and we will answer it in that Q&A video that will be coming up in, well, whenever. I'm, I'm not sure on the exact dates of this because obviously we've not reached 100 subscribers yet. Um, but that will be coming. So keep your eyes out how to be involved in the channel. Um, so yeah, that is all from me today, guys. Happy Monday to everyone. Have a lovely week. Um, lovely, well, a lovely two weeks. Um, go and check out the other fairies videos for Under the Sea Week. There are some pretty swell stuff going on, including makeup tutorials and Dory's friends. And it's just magical and wonderful and just basically delightful. So yes, make sure you check all of those out. Um, I will see you in two weeks time and it is Dreams Week next, I believe. And I will be doing a princess based inspiration video so check me out same time in two weeks 7 p.m monday i'll be here you will be here i hope go on go on and that is all thank you very much for watching today guys always make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you real soon bye